Hello everyone, today we are talking about periods, so if you are not keen to learn about this subject then I don't know why you clicked on the video, but hey. So basically I've been very very curious about period cuts for a while and the main reason being the environment. As we know there's so much plastic and waste on the earth right now and these are reusable so that was a huge like plus for me. I really wanted to give them a go and to be honest I just heard so many amazing things about these products. Also, so I was just like thinking about tampons. I switched to organic tampons recently because I actually started getting like TMI, sorry about it, but I started getting really strange down there in terms of I was like very dried out around the time of my period and I don't know if it was like the chemicals and the tampons or just the tampons in general. Yeah, it was just very uncomfortable. Like it was like messing with my pH balance, I'm sure, and just all sorts of stuff. So thinking about how expensive tampons, especially organic tampons can get, you know, I just wanted to explore my options and I did see Sophia, I hope I pronounced that right, I probably did not. I'll put her channel down below. Most of you guys would have seen her videos because they are like incredible, so good. But I saw she tried out a moon cup as well or like some kind of like period what are the actual like terms for these like period cup i don't know she tried one out i have not watched her video yet i actually need to watch her video but for now i've just saved it to my watch later because i want to like try it for myself first and see how i go and i want to watch her video later to see how she went as well so i have not heard anyone's experience other than people saying like yeah i love mine i haven't heard anyone that has tried this product everyone i've asked that's used one of these like swears by it so hopefully i enjoy it too I'm gonna like basically use it this week while I've got my period. I'm on day two right now. My period started yesterday and my period like kind of goes light for like a few hours. I can always tell when I'm about to get it. I just have this feeling. I can feel it and it goes light for a few hours and then it just like starts. But basically I went to the gym this morning and so I had a tampon in because there was no way I was about to try this for the first time at the gym in case like I didn't put it in right and it leaked or something and that just would not be fun. I got sent this one actually because I was tweeting about it. I bought this one myself. So the one I what is called a moon cup. <laughs> the one I got sent is called a lunette. So I'll show you what else they sent me in this little package. So lovely of them by the way. There is a menstrual cup cleanser. Using something reusable inside your body you want to make sure you are cleaning it out properly every single time in between uses or like when you're rinsing it or whatever. I've been doing a little bit of research but I'm still really really scared. 10 pieces of cup wipes. Okay, so you can put these in your handbag and it's just a good on-the-go option for sanitizing your lunette. So inside the lunette, I think I'm going to try the lunette first and then if it all goes well, in a day I'll try the moon cup and I'm going to update you on how I go with my entire experience, which one I like better and everything. So the lunette, which is this one just here, has no fibers, no bleach, no dioxins, it's naturally hygienic, silky soft medical grade silicone and you can wear it up to 12 hours and overnight which is amazing because you cannot use a tampon for that long which was another plus for me because I just hate like changing tampons. It's like, I mean it's not the best experience let's be honest and I'm not a big pads person. I just don't like them. I feel like I'm wearing a diaper. Like it's just so uncomfortable for me. It doesn't absorb your natural moist. This is it. It doesn't absorb your natural moisture. That's what was totally happening to me. And it made me just so uncomfortable downstairs. It was not pleasant. It always takes like a day or two to like get back into like you know the nice kitty. <laughs> this is another reason why I was so intrigued by the little cups as well because I feel like I bleed so freaking much. My period usually lasts about five days I would say and I just feel like there's just so much blood and I always see these like stats and it's like oh you only bleed a tablespoon or something like that per like cycle and I'm just like um I think I bleed like a cupful. So it's gonna be interesting to actually, I'm not gonna show you by the way, <laughs> don't worry. But it's gonna be interesting to see how much I actually bleed as well like get to know my body a little bit because I always just go straight for the slim tampons that are the super absorbency I don't go for regular or light or anything I just go straight for the supers um, just to be safe I don't want to risk the leakage and stuff like that so yeah it holds much more liquid than a tampon um, it saves pulp cotton plastic and wrappers and your cash too with tender loving care it'll last for years which is amazing and let's be honest tampons are freaking expensive and yeah every single tampons wrap 
wrapped in friggin' plastic. Like, it's just another way that you can easily cut down on plastic in your everyday life. Which is what I try to do. I'm not perfect. I still use way too much plastic. I get sent so much friggin' PR mail. Like, I'm not good for the environment as a person. Like, I'm really not good for the environment. But I try. Like, I try to go for reusable bags at the grocery store and things like that. Like, I'm just trying to make small changes in my life to try and reduce the amount of rubbish I contribute to the earth. It's not going so well. The cup is $54.95, which in the scheme of things is not expensive considering you can easily spend like six to twelve dollars on a pack of tampons. So in just a few months of your period, you've just paid this off anyway. By the way, there's also a million other brands. These are just the two I ended up with. Now this one here I think I got off healthpost.co.nz, I think. I'll link it down below as well. This is Mooncut and I bought it purely because I have heard of this name before. And this one also says how to insert it on the side. And it says why Mooncut, it's healthier, it doesn't leave fibers behind or dry you out. Thank you. Unlike most cotton sanitary products, it contains no pesticides or bleaches. One woman uses at least 11,000 throwaway sanitary products in a lifetime, which will end up in landfill or in the sea, which is not nice. We're taking over the world in a bad way, like the ocean is not for tampons. It is for turtles. You only need one moon cup, which will last for years. And I can't remember how much I paid for this, but I will list it down below. And there's two sizes for this one. So I got the size B. It says if you haven't had children or you've had children via cesarean and you're under 30, go for B. So that's me. But it says if you've had a baby, go for size A. This one's made in the UK. It says up to eight hours protection. I'm really nervous. I suppose this is the point in which I try one. So of course I'm going to rinse it out first like wash it out and I suppose I can just use this wash with the other one I don't know what wash you're supposed to use like I don't know I haven't really done any research into it but I got sent this so I'm gonna use this I don't know if there's like a cheaper at home option you can use maybe comment below can you just use like friggin dishwashing liquid I don't know <laughs> it's so weird I'm so nervous I'm not gonna lie oh look it comes with a little bag too you can put it in and it also comes with a little instruction manual that says your vagina's new best friend how nice I have been looking for a best friend for my vagina for a while now. So this is going in my fan. And I don't really know how you get them out. That's the next hurdle. So I'll come back later when I like remove it and I'll like use this one, <laughs> which is unused. And I'll like show you where the blood was and stuff. If you're squeamish, maybe don't continue to watch. Wish me luck. So it's in, um, I've washed my hands, don't worry. Um, went in really easy and I'm like sitting here and I can't feel it and I can't feel it when I walk or anything, but I feel really sick inside and I don't know why I think I'm just like really nervous. I've also put on a liner because I don't know if I trust my application, if you know what I mean. So yeah, just in case, you know, so I'm basically just gonna like set an alarm for like, should I do like six hours? So it'll be like around eight o'clock tonight. When I asked you guys if you wanted to see this video on Twitter, I only had like one person say that they were not keen. Everyone else was really interested. I had a few people that were curious themselves and a few people that already used them and wanted me to help get the word out there because they said they were so amazing. I had a couple of people saying like, I don't think I could use it. I'm not very flexible and everything. But honestly, I think if you can put in a tampon, you can definitely put in the cup because it was like no different. I just kind of like sumo squatted and like folded it in half and then folded it in half one more time, popped it in there. Now this does say it's for a lighter to normal flow. And like I said, I feel like I bleed a crap ton, but we'll soon find out. How do you pull it out? I don't even know. It looks like you just kind of like pinch it. I'm gonna have to like Google it just to make sure but yeah, or I could just read the little manual I suppose. Wash your hands, relax your muscles, grasp the bottom of the cup with your forefinger and thumb. To break the seal, squeeze the bottom ridge part of the cup until you feel the suction release. Rock it back and forth gently to ease it out. Tip contents into the toilet. Rinse and reuse. I guess we'll just see how it goes now. Okay, don't mind whatever my lipstick is doing right now. I just like tried to touch it up after eating and it could have failed. My lashes are gone and stuff, but anyway, I just took it out and it was an experience, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. So basically I did what it said. I like tugged on the little, the stufa, tug, tug, tug. And then um, put my finger in and just pinched it and you can hear it, it's like, <laughs> comes out and it feels a little bit uncomfortable. It does not hurt. It does not 
bother me but it, you can feel it but I mean you can feel a tampon coming out too so like whatever I was really surprised I don't really know what I was expecting I thought it would be like half full or something but it was fuller to about maybe the second little line between my two fingernail tips that's how full it was it was like not that full I guess that's not too bad I don't know how many mils that is or anything but considering it's like one of my heavy days I think today and tomorrow are usually my heaviest days but we'll see how we go tomorrow of course so that was fine and I rinsed it out fine and not gonna lie like it was a bit of an experience tipping the blood into the toilet because I was stupid and I like watched and I was like oh that's a bit gross and I'm like pretty comfortable with my body and everything but like that was a sight so yeah anyways I rinsed it popped it back in and it was even easier to get in the second time so I can just imagine after like using it for a week it's gonna be like second nature it's not gonna be difficult whatsoever I'd even argue that it's just as easy already as a tampon so and I've only just started using it. So, so far so good. The only negative thing so far is I could definitely feel it a little bit as I was walking around the house occasionally. It was like I was aware of it. Kind of like when you put in a tampon wrong. So maybe I put it in a little bit wrong. And the other slightly negative thing is there was a little bit of spotting. And it's the kind of amount that it wouldn't even matter if like you were wearing black underwear you wouldn't even see it kind of thing. Like it wasn't heavy. It was just like a little dot. I don't know if it like somehow got around it because I didn't put it in right or like what. You know like if you really wanted to you could still use a liner but it kind of defeats the purpose right of like saving the environment and like reducing costs and everything so like honestly I would just wear like black underwear and you'd be pretty sweet it's not gonna go through them whatsoever at all it was like one dot but we'll see if it happens again especially overnight I'm very curious to see how we go so basically I'm gonna continue my night now I might just empty it one more time right before I go to sleep just to be safe and then I'll wear it from like 11 o'clock until like really early morning or whatever I don't know and I will update you in the morning how I go Okay, I just woke up and these lights are so freaking bright on my eyes. I'm just about to go to the gym. So I thought I'd pop on here and update you. Wow, can I like make this a little bit duller? I think I am definitely like a lighter bleeder than I thought I was, which is a weird thing to say on YouTube. Overnight, like over the whole night, all that came out was literally the same amount as last night. So like up to the second little line. There you go. So I'm going to wear it. Well, I'm wearing it right now. I'm going to wear it to the gym, which is where I'm about to go. And we'll see how I go for the next few hours. I might just keep it in for about three or four hours. And then we're going to switch over to this baby right here, the moon cup. So I'll come back in a few hours and update you. Okay, so I'm back from the gym and I've had a shower and everything. It's probably been three to four hours since I spoke to you last. And what was quite interesting was I think I bled about the same amount again at the gym. I don't know if it's because like obviously when you're asleep you're lying down and then I was upright working out and it came out or like what maybe I bleed more during the day I don't know that one is out now I cleaned it and put it away and now we're going to try the next cup and it's gonna be difficult to measure how much I'm bleeding with this one because I've only got one I can't show you like the unused one but I'll have to guess what I did do so far is show you like you can probably say it's been almost 24 hours and <laughs> I measured with this one, not my used one, some water to show you how much blood has come out so far and it's really not that much. Like I'm quite surprised. So I put it in a shot glass and I put a Barocca in it so you could see it but it kind of just ended up looking like old man piss. But I was going to use food coloring it but I only had red food coloring so I thought that old man piss was probably not as weird to look at. This is how much um, has come out so far. So I totally thought that there would be so much more and the only reason I'm doing this to show you because I mean do you guys really care how much I bleed and everyone's different everyone bleeds a different amount like there's no normal really you know what I mean like some people are very light some people are very heavy and it's all fine but the reason I did want to show you was just because I genuinely thought I was like what if this overflows but literally I could have left this in 24 hours which don't do that because you shouldn't but I could have left it in a whole day and it still would only probably be up to like let's pour it back in yeah see literally it's up to that third Line. right there that's all so now I need to wash this yeah it's quite interesting it's good to know my body a little bit better because honestly I've been having my period since I was like 10 years old and I never knew like how much I bled it was just something I never really thought about I just assumed my flow was very heavy because I felt like I always had to change my tampons and stuff but I feel like honestly they just don't absorb that much it kind of just goes around the outside and you look at the tampon and you're like wow that's full but like 
So moving on to this one here. This one is vegan, which is cool. Um, and it says you can wear it up to eight hours. It's reusable and lasts for years. Just one moon cut covers light to super plus day. So unlike the other one, which says light to normal, and it's made in the UK. This is the one that has the two sizes, just like I covered in the beginning, and it comes in a little bag. And this one is actually clear rather than purple. It's almost the exact same size as well. Even maybe ever so slightly smaller. It looks more narrow um, sideways but the top looks a little bit thicker. I'll let you know how comfortable it is to wear and remove and put in and everything compared to the other one but I'm gonna go pop it in now and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh it's actually got measurements on the side which is quite interesting as well like it says 6mm and 12mm. Let's do this I'll talk to you guys a bit later and let you know how it goes. I did the truth or dare video, that's why my makeup looks terrible right now because I had to use heaps of products that I don't like. That'll either be up soon or up already, I'll link it below if it's up already. Anyway, so I just tried taking out the moon cup for the first time. I have to say putting it in was definitely more troublesome and a little bit, not more painful, but you could feel it more than the other lunette version. The lunette, like it's got the thinner rim and the one I'm wearing now, the moon cup has a thicker rim and I just feel like it kind of like scrapes you a little bit more as it goes in. It's still not like difficult to get in or anything it's just more like you can feel it more if that makes sense. And the same when you remove it I feel like the suction was more powerful on this one which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It took me a lot more effort to like break the seal and then when it came out it was just yeah you could definitely feel it coming out like more so than the lunette. There was like barely any blood in there so it's so weird like I definitely thought I had a way worse period than I'm currently having. And also another interesting thing to know don't know if it's a coincidence or if it is related to me using these products but I usually get pretty bad cramps and I genuinely like have barely had any cramps this time. Usually I get them really bad what would have been today and yesterday. But I haven't had any cramps. I've had my normal headaches and stuff. I always get like headaches on my period but I normally get really bad cramps and I haven't so that's really good but like I said it could just be a coincidence. I don't know if you guys use these like is that something that improved with you using this kind of product or just a coincidence? Who knows? So far I'm definitely liking the lunette a little bit more just because it's easier to get in and out um, or like less irritating. And I also like how the lunette's purple. This one is clear. When you're like looking at it to tip it out it's like hello. Like it's <laughs> like you can see everything. Which maybe you'll like that. I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to see. But the purple one you know it's just a little bit more discreet for your own self when you're like tipping it up. But I mean other than that they're basically the exact same thing so whatever. I am already converted. Like the fact that I've had no spotting all day so I think that first day was probably just me putting it in a little bit incorrect perhaps. And like I said even if I got a little bit of spotting like I don't really care because it was such a small amount. Already I'm pretty stoked. And I think you know if I can convince 100 or 200 of you guys to try this product out imagine how many tampons and pads we can prevent going into the ocean and going into landfill. Like it's pretty impressive. You think about those numbers. If one woman uses at least 11,000 throwaway sanitary products in a lifetime, times that by 100 or 200 or even 1,000 or 2,000 or 10,000. Like there's a lot of power right here. I'm going to end this video here because I've basically seen everything I need to see. I'm so impressed and it's so, so, so not as gross as I thought it would be. It's a little bit to get used to, but I mean, now, like it's only day two and I'm already like feeling like a bit of a pro. I feel like after an entire period my next period is going to be a freaking breeze. I'm not even going to think twice about it. Just like when you first start using tampons it's a little bit iffy and a little bit gross for like the first you know a few times. It's like the same thing. It's so much more gentle. I've had no dryness, no side effects, like nothing. And usually tampons like literally make me raw. So that's a huge reason I wanted to try this and I'm happy because yeah it doesn't alter anything in there if that makes sense sense like everything feels quite healthy. Let me know if there's anything else you want to know about these products and I can follow up in one of my daily vlogs. I'll link my vlog channel down below and let me know if you are going to try a period cup. Why not? I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!